Welcome back to another week of What Would the Gays Do? I'm your host, Rylick. <laughs> you always catch me on guard with that type of Hey again. <laughs> Porsche just debuted a concept of an electric race car. For once, people at the track will be able to hear the person next to them. In wild moves, NASCAR wants to race inside a football stadium, which finally means black people will be allowed in there. <laughs> and in NASCAR news, Chrisette Michelle will be allowed back into football stadiums. Car makers like Hyundai are pushing for hydrogen fuel vehicles. Clearly, they believe that everyone will have access to hydrogen stations. Unless you're black. <laughs> and then don't news. Rick Barnes just got his driver's license, but been having cars for 30 years. And in I wish I would've participated news, PPP loans are still being used for cars. So enjoy jail. Your Kia Optima will be waiting for you in 15 years. <laughs> It'll still be on the warranty, though. Hyundai has killed its manual accent, so things should get a lot easier for Sofia Vergara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And in supercar news, Lotus has announced its new supercar, the Ivara, which uses a Toyota engine that it is not in the Supra, but you gave it to another car company but you made the Supra with BMW. So we're trying to understand, which is it? Uchiwali or one mic? Can you afford to make the engine alone, or can you not? Because it seems like you can, if you're giving it to somebody else with the same amount of horsepower as a Supra. In Uchiwali news, I have a Toyota Supra, and I'm right here. Toyota is set to spend $14 billion on batteries because nights get lonely. <laughs> and they set aside $1 billion for poppers. Ford successfully poached the chief of Apple's car project, Doug Field. All I could think about is a missed opportunity at Apple. Or did they poach McDonald's for that? Because it looks like the kiosk. The Ford Mustang Mach-E won Car and Driver's EV of the Year because none of them probably sat inside of it. <laughs> you want to hear a joke? Ford Mustang Mach-E. The Ford Mustang Mach-E won Car and Driver's EV of the Year, marking a major milestone for the blind and deaf community. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> As we said earlier, Ford successfully poached the chief of Apple's car project. But they already have the iPad in the Mach-E. And for Mach E news, it went EV of the year for car and driver. Is car and driver more attractive? Car and driver. Okay. I hope so. In an attempt to make you think that a soft taco is more than $1.29, Taco Bell has decided to make all of their drive throughs look like banks. Which means all of our accounts will be negative before we even show up. Which means people like us will probably get declined. After clues led them to a warehouse, the search ended up cold for a Genesis dealership. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently the only way you can get a Genesis vehicle is to fly to Korea. Toyota has announced that the ever so silent Prius will now come in a nightshade edition. So good luck in that alley. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. The 
NTSA and Fast 9 crew have partnered together to replace airbags with car hoods. <laughs> In car industry news, Tyrese We Hungry Gibson and Ludacris, I don't know, Bridges are the first in space. <laughs> Friends and family at SeaWorld were in for a treat with the reveal of the new Honda Civic. What? <laughs> what? Friends and family were seen trying to release a Honda Civic from SeaWorld. <laughs> Stop talking about this damn Civic and SeaWorld. Oh my God. <laughs> This is a part where I get to be annoying and tell y'all to like our video and subscribe so we could keep sending you more of this fun more, stuff more. about cars. So y'all probably see my face enough to know who I am by now. If you've been watching the show, hopefully this isn't your first time tuning in. If it is, I'm Rylick, but that's not the point. I wanted to introduce y'all to somebody special. His name is Jamal. Hey y'all, what's up? Beautiful gowns. <laughs> And if you haven't noticed, she might know a thing or two about fashion, about pop culture, about everything there is to know except for cars. It's true, yeah. I don't know anything, girl. I just get in and go. If I got questions, gotta ask Riley. Boop, boop. Hit, hit me on the chart. <laughs> so today, in this segment we call Jamal Explains It All, he is gonna be taking a look at some of your first cars and telling you a thing or two about yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna read you down for Phil's baby. <laughs> so on these cards here, we have a list of cars that the users have said are their first babies. And we're gonna slide them over and see what you think about these girls in their first little situations. All right, so you guys sent them over. Um, let's see what these first cars are, baby. Let's, let's get into it. Okay. So this first car is a 98 Chrysler Sebring. Um, yeah, first thing, I can, first thing that comes to mind when I think of this is uh, you probably smoked Newports and you probably steal. Um, <laughs> It's cute. Uh, it's not a car that I necessarily liked. I did have a friend though that had this car and we did have a lot of good times though. I will say that. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's giving big Newports. Um, well, it, it sounds like she had some, some cigarette burns in that Chrysler. Oh yeah, definitely. She was, <laughs> girl, smoking pack after pack, back to back. Giving Dalmatian. Very much, <laughs> very much, very much. Let's see what's next. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 97 Ford Probe. Uh, didn't even know this existed. So, <laughs> that says a lot. Um, yeah, 97 Ford Probe. This reminds me of, I remember my mom had a Honda Civic. Um, an old Honda Civic with the lights that would flip oh. up. Yeah, so this kind of gives me that, but like on a budget. like. You couldn't really afford the Honda, so you got the Ford. And maybe you got this from a third party, not somebody that you know. Maybe somebody, uh, I don't know who could have gave you this and why they gave you this. They probably didn't like you, but <laughs> we just gonna move on from this one. Sorry, Miss Probe. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Probe, I don't see it for you. I don't see it for you, bro. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um, ooh. So this is an 04 Honda Element. Um, so interesting story. I actually um, really wanted one of these back in the day. It's, um, it was, to me it was cool. It was boxy, it was square. I like that it didn't have any um, carpet in the inside. Okay. So you can just get in with like your dirty boots on. <laughs> 
I don't know why you have dirty boots on, but... Like, first of all, <laughs> whose brunch are we at that your boots came back dirty? Let's talk. Girl, they muddy. I don't know, like, they muddy, like, you got sand on, I don't know. But I was like, oh, like, this is cool. You could just get in. You don't have to worry about cleaning the carpet. You don't have to do anything. And it's like, it's big, it's wide, mm -hmm. and it's open. So I actually like this one. But, um, you know... It's yeah. like it's given Minecrafters to it me. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, it is. Like looking back on it, it really is. It's a it's a shoebox, and it kind of reminded me. Do you remember those uh, Scion? The XBs. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's what that's what she gives. This is what this is giving. Um, but at the time, I loved it. It was very cute to me back then, but uh, not so much anymore. Um, so, yeah, let's see who or what is next. <laughs> okay. So, this is a Pontiac Grand Am. This just gives me, like, when I see this, it just makes me think of, like, the Midwest. Like, I just get, like, Midwest. You probably from Indiana. Um, you hate it. Yo, Granny gave you this car. Um, you probably had it. Um, she gave. She didn't give it to you in college, in high school, because she was driving it in high school. Um, but she gave it to you in college because she knew you need to get back and forth to campus. Um, and and, you, and your ass was taking it right over to Chicago, you, where you had no business being. Exactly. You was going to Chicago, and you wasn't supposed to be over there, and you was doing all types of wild sh stuff. And um, yeah, that's what it gives. Like, and I feel like the people who had these are probably in prison right now. So let's go to the next one. <laughs> this is a 95 Acura Legend. Ooh, this, this car was the drug dealer car back in the day, baby. If you had this, you definitely, I think I told somebody this, like you definitely, either your parents push a little weight, somebody was doing something because so if you had an Acura, like, this was like, oh, you had some money. You didn't have, like, big money to have, mm -hmm. like, a Benz or, like, a, a BMW, a Beamer, because those were, like, hot cars. Now everybody got BMWs, mm -hmm. Mercedes, you know, but this was, like, the hot car back then. So somebody in your family was selling a little dope. Either your mom or your daddy, somebody. Out of the Ladera Center. <laughs> <laughs> right at the Ladera Center, bitch. Right there. But this car was cute. I really did like this car back in the day. Like, so if you had this back in the day, even if you had this in like 99, 2000, you were still that girl. Like, definitely. This, this one was cute. Um, ooh, let's see. 05 Nissan Oldsma, baby. The ratchet car of the ratchets, girl. All, when you see this, all I think of is Ratchet with Bray screaming out, hey, <laughs> yes, with the windows down, listen to Lil Boosie. Um, you know, but this is it. Like this car, I remember was, this was the girl. I remember my aunt, she wanted one of these so bad. And she would always talk about, oh, whenever we would see one, she'd be like, oh, there's my core. That's my core. And I used to be like, girl, you want to, like, an Osama, not even a Maxima? But no tea, like, okay. cool, cool, girl. That's your lane. Cool. That's I I just feel like if you're driving the Ultima, like, you're only driving on the 110. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if you have a house. You're just driving up and down the 110. You're driving on the 110 uh, and the 105. Those are your two. <laughs> You're not going to 405, you're not doing the 101, and you're probably on the 14 with my auntie, because that's what uh, she was driving. <laughs> oh, this always going to bring back memories. This was everybody's college car at CSUN. You could find a million of them at CSUN. You could find a million of them at Cal State LA, Cal State Dominguez, all the Cal States. This was it. This was that girl. Mm, memories. Okay. Last but not least. Ooh. 01 BMW 3 Series Convertible. Now, this was the car. Like, this was the car, period. Now, it looks really dated, but, like, this was... If you had an 01 BMW, like... 
can't tell you nothing. Like, like you, you got it. Like my my panties are are gone. They're yours. Period. And I'm thinking like um, either you in law school. I'm thinking you a baller. If I see you with that, and you got that drop top, the drop top. Um, it's giving clueless part it, two straight to DVD. It's giving very much clueless straight to DVD. Not not in one theater, but you know like. This is dope. Like this was this was the thing that you wanted. You wanted to have this one. Um, and the three, I mean the three was like top notch. If mm -hmm. you had like a five or a six, I do know that. I know those numbers. Five, I think they had a five. Mm -hmm. A six, a seven, they have an eight. They have an eight now and they had an eight back in the nineties. It just came back. Oh, okay. Cause I know this one was like the standard was like bomb and then if you had a big body that was like oh you was a rapper or a basketball player but this was it this was bomb so if you had one of these you had money people that i grew up with they definitely didn't have these they had uh old honda civics but she was that girl a honda civic convertible yeah <laughs> you'd be surprised you'd be very much surprised um but yeah these were good um well, Rylick, it was so fun going down memory lane with you about all these cars. Um, a lot of them brought back some really good memories, some not so good. My name is Jamal, and I'm here to explain it all. Beautiful. And I'm Rylick, and I have a appointment. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> if I say I have a Z, I know exactly which one you're thinking of. If you were anywhere except for, I don't know, under a rock, back in the early 2000s, you knew the 350Z was the two-seater to have. The intention behind those lines that curve from the front all the way to the back end could only be compared to a woman's body. Baby, it was so sexy, you were gonna find some way to fuck in it. Open the hatch, let the neighbors see, who cares? The design was so perfect that they basically gave us a concept car, like, threw the keys at our forehead at the North American Auto Show. Even though it had only been three years since a 300ZX was canceled, it felt like a lifetime without a Z car. Nissan knew they had to come with the heat, and they did. With 287 horsepower, this car was just a few ponies shy of the 911 at the time, Porsche 911. So $26,000, almost Porsche-like performance. That's gonna grab some attention. That's gonna grab some eyes, specifically those of younger kids. This became the hot to have car to woo that guy with the curly hair and beautiful eyes and defined cheekbones, or a uh, girl if you're into that. Or to make them do a double take at the country club or when you're leaving the salon or when you're pulling up to a restaurant. The point is, this attracted a large demographic of people for various reasons, and this boded well, boded well for Nissan. Yep, that's almost 80,000 units in its first two years in production. Keeping in mind that the first year they only had a coupe out, the Roadster soon followed. The coupe was able to get a bunch of trims like Enthusiasts, which I owned, Performance, I also owned, total both of them, uh, Touring, and Track. But the Roadster just got enthusiasts in touring trim levels. But it didn't matter which one you had, people were gonna hear your Z before you even got into the neighborhood. That VQ motor made one of the sexiest sounds of all time in my opinion. Even today, sometimes I hear Z start up and yeah, this is, gonna, this is PG. This is one of the best sounds to come out of the ass of a car. Those tailpipes make such an iconic sound. I'd say they're up there with Ferrari and the Uricon in terms of distinguished sound. You know exactly what car that is when you hear it. We hear exhaust notes, Nissan hears applause. They were getting praise from magazines across the world, ranging from Automobile Magazine to Road and Track. It went bar, club, another bar, motor trend, Back to car and driver, bar, another club, bar, motor week, top gear. Everybody was in awe of the Z when it came out. If you had one long enough and depending on the year, you probably found out that it had oil consumption problems. 
um, and it would kind of run a bit hot, but no one cared because the Z was so much fun. You could just throw this thing into a corner and watch that end just get loose while the lightweight and suspension work that Nissan put together just kept you planted. It was just so thrilling. Yes, it didn't quite have 300 horsepower until the mid-engine refresh came and it had about 306, but it was still fun. 